versus on the ramp. Let me get through the, the, the initial spiel here for everybody. Um, all right, when we're done with the training, you will be learning basically the raccoon team structure, basic maneuvers, formations, and communication. I don't know if any of you have watched the videos, but this is just basically going to be the live action version of those videos. Um, <clears throat> so um, if you ever are having questions over anything, I mean, if you no one's available, you want to go ahead and use the videos as a reference, they're actually use. Um, so each team is basically for raccoons is made up of four people. It's a two man buddy teams. And they're going to be numbered one through four. And um, it kind of decides where in the formation you'll be and who your buddy is. Uh, one will be the point man. Who's the squad leader. And they're the first buddy team. They're usually referred to as blue. And then um, have three and four and they're the other buddy team. And they're going to be referred to as red. <clears throat> So let's start off. Um, do we have anyone that wants to be the team leader position? Considering the silence, I'll take yeah. it. You'll take it? All right, so reflect. You're going to be uh, Alpha's team leader. And seeing as we have enough for two teams, we're going to go ahead and go with Bravo. And Johnny, we just love hearing your voice. So we're going to take Bravo. <laughs> Bravo, Bravo. <laughs> There's an Alpha Blue, Alpha Red. Bravo blue, bravo red. Is that the way that works? Correct. Okay, so for elf team, which is going to be over on the left of the ramp, uh, when looking at the ramp, we're going to have uh, Ghost Killer 16. You're going to be Alpha 1. You're going to be the point man for that squad. Reflect Man, you're going to be Alpha 2. And Lept, you will be Alpha 3. And Off Grid, you will be Alpha 4. I've done the training. Oh, you've already done the training? Okay. Well then, never mind. I we'll can skip do it again. Ah, oh, no, no, no. If you've already done it, we'll, uh, we'll somebody else do it. And then, do you, uh, you mind joining me on Op 4 off grid? Sure. Okay, thanks. All right, so. <clears throat> see here. Mr. Blappy, you will be uh, Alpha, or Bravo 1. And. Johnny, you will be Bravo 2. And Bravo 3, I believe, is coming in right now. Um, that was... Who was, who was the one coming in? Oh, Star Lizard. Uh, Star Lizard. Yeah. Star uh, my I'll team. be there shortly. No problem. And so we're going to be missing one from Bravo. Um, <clears throat> during those times, uh, Q, if I can have you just fill in for them, yeah, for their, that's fine. for their number four, it just gives so you I'm... more practice. Cause, and so, uh, once, uh, everybody's here, um, go okay, ahead so and start uh, doing one, uh, but... one final check, medical check. Is everyone bound to the carrot? No. Ghost is go, go, go do it. Yeah. Yep. Probably want to go do it. Well, do it up. That is a very good idea. Move, Especially move, move! You got people now, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I reflect. You're done. That, that. Okay. Yes. I believe everybody for Alpha should be here. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start covering uh, communication while everybody's get everyone else is getting here. Um, communication. 
Uh, basically, you're trying to give information and communicate a clear picture of what you're talking about. And you're trying to give it quickly. So moving is one of the one of the deals to communicate. And you're going to be saying like alpha one moving or team red moving, something like along those lines. And so um, there, when you guys are moving, when you stop, you're going to be saying set. That means that you've stopped moving and you're ready to cover. So it'd be like three set or Bravo one set. Depends on how much communication you need to give. Like seeing as there's two groups, you kind of have to do the whole Bravo, you know, one or Bravo or Alpha one set. And then team set, that's called by the, the team leader, which basically means that all team, team members are in place and ready to cover other team members. Blue team set, which means basically two people from blue team are um, set or alpha set, which means the whole, all of alphas. Um, let's see here. All right, so Johnny, let's yes, say uh, someone calls a move um, and you hear Alpha One moving. What's your what are you going to say afterwards? Uh, uh, your Alpha, alpha two, One the, set or, Bra or Bra uh, Bravo Two? Sorry, Bravo right. One is moving. So then you you Bravo you're Two covering. Move. Oh, Bravo Two moving. <laughs> moving okay. is fine. Yeah, yeah, because you basically be following behind Bravo One. Okay, so um, we're buddy system. Buddy system, yeah. then. So, bra uh, so Bravo One's moving, Bravo Two moving. Right. Yeah. Um, Bravo right, One so said, Bravo Two said. Right? Who's Bravo yeah, One? I'm sorry. When you, when you guys, when you guys get to that that spot, yeah, you'll be basically saying that. But actually, you'll be going. Um, most of the time, we're going to be using the whole four man team, so it's going to be, you know, Bravo One set, Bravo Two set, Bravo Three set, Bravo. And then right. Johnny would I call team right. set. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so um, Q hmm? is Q and Blappy are on my team. Yeah, Q yeah, is going to be on your team. Um, Bravo he, 4. He's basically Bravo 4, Bravo 4 and Alpha 4. So he's covering both. And who was on mine? Your team is Ghost Killer 16, uh, Lept, and Q. Like I said, okay. Johnny, you'll, you'll have you'll have a two-man team until, uh, or basically a three-man team until uh, Q's done moving and then he'll join with you. Um, I may ask uh, Pluto or... Um, off grid to join you guys for a little bit though actually now that I think about it probably be good to have one of them just join in and be number four for you actually hold on let me grab one of them quick uh, where did they go <laughs> near chat four or something like that another chat room oh they're in the grid I need that. oh well Whatever. They will be the fourth people. So, anyways, um, we'll get to them in a minute. Um, so they yeah, went to multi-crew voice. Yeah, they went to multi-crew voice of two, and I'm like, okay, I can't. Oh, yeah, you can't that, get in so. there. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. We'll, I'll, I'll get them. Johnny, one of them will be your number four, actually. That's what okay, we're so gonna I'm actually alpha four, though. Right? Yeah, you're just going to be alpha four Q. So, okay. we'll be good with that. So, this is Star. Who am I with? And Johnny, Star? you're alpha you're with Johnny. you're Bravo three. Johnny? You're going to be... Yeah. You're gonna be standing behind me at all time. Um, yeah. Who's one for me though? Who's one, one is uh, Mr. Blappy, I believe. Blappy is one. Okay, Blappy. Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna Blap, be a plant man. Blap, Blap. Okay. So uh, the next thing is gonna be contact. Whenever you have a sighting or engagement of a hostile, um, you'll you'll later. I'll I'll get into the description and direction and stuff like that in just a second. But um, contact means basically means you're sighting someone that's hostile. For sure, hostile. You, you've seen them. Movement means you're sighting an, a player or an NPC, and you can't identify whether they're hostile, neutral, or friendly. Then you have to go to the clear call, which means that a room or area is clear. And then clear all clear means that the entire building, bunker, ship, whatever, clear of hostiles. If you ever hear someone yell abort, 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 that means it's called by a player that halts operation due to like critical unforeseen threats to make the overall op possible. And then you have, uh, I'm sure we all heard it, break, 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 basically a request for other members to immediately cease communication as you have like a prior day. Um, next, we'll go ahead and cover rates of fire. This is something that's pretty important. Um, basically, when you're trying to suppress an enemy or keep them uh, their heads down from a distance uh, for an extended period of time, you also don't want to run out of ammo while you're doing it. So, we have kind of two modes of fire. Deliberate fire, where you fire one shot or a burst every six seconds. This is like slow, well-aimed shots at an enemy position at a distance. And then you have rapid fire, where you're firing one shot and burst every two seconds. And that's just for putting 
basically a lot of fire at their position to make them keep their heads down. This is extremely useful, like especially seeing as we're going to be kind of covering open area combat. And so that's, you know, keeps them from shooting at your people. So you're just trying to deny them from being able to aim and just somebody off. Which kind of brings us to the, the, so we'll go ahead and cover the triple D, which is that thing I was talking about with the description, direction, and distance. So if you have a contact, you're saying a contact left 200 meters, the main thing that you're referring to on that, it's referring to from the formation. So if your formation is going away from the carrick, like directly 12 o'clock, and you say left, um, you know, 200 meters, that means it's left of your whole formation. Doesn't mean it's left of you. Like if you're looking left and you call left, it better be like to the left of the formation, not left of you, because that means it would be rear. So that's a, a thing to keep in mind. And you can also use the o'clocks, you know, like nine o'clock, whatever, as long as it's basically, like I said, in relation to the. And in, the, in relation to the what? Or you cut off? The formation, like which way the formation is going. Yep. Like if you. And so um, here. Then we also have the return to uh, immediate fire, which basically means um, R RTR, which means if you see somebody or you take fire, you immediately return uh, fire, you few shots towards the threat. Accuracy is not a concern. You're just kind of shooting at them, you know, just trying to keep them to let them know that you know where they're at and you're going to be going and running and trying to take uh, cover afterwards. And then you return effective fire. So, all right. So now we know kind of general terms and everything that we're going to be going with. So we're going to go ahead and start doing the column formation. All right, so the column formation is going to be with your um, point man in front, and they're going to be about five to 10 meters ahead of the um, team leader. Then you will have the uh, next person in line, basically will be number three. They will be about 10 meters behind that person, and then so on. So. Yeah, the team leader will be covering the left side. The Lappy. person in the Lappy. three position will Lappy. be covering the right side. And the person in the back obviously covers the rear. Now then, when you're going, when you're marching in the, in the column formation, you're not really expecting any contact. So you're not really too, um, you're not really too concerned with putting fire on people at that point. But uh, the main thing is you're going to be checking, you're going to make sure that you kind of stay kind of close and also you just kind of check with use Z look to usually look the sides. You don't ha necessarily have to have your gun into the sides. And I use my so, head tracking for that. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see here. And so uh, we'll just go ahead and do the um, other, um, do a little bit of movement with the column. The problem with the column is it's pretty vulnerable to attacks from the front and the back. Because if you if someone attacks you from the sides, everyone can just turn and just start shooting, and so you get maximum firepower. But if they attack you from the front and they have a weapon that goes through multiple targets, it's very dangerous because they you know they can take out a couple people with one hit. And that's also the kind of reason why you have the ten meters spacing so that you know one AOE doesn't just take out both. People. Um, <clears throat> and also uh, whenever you are moving um, with the, uh... okay, I'm hearing myself. I don't know where it's coming from. It's me, me sorry. I was talking about okay. that. I don't know why no you're problem. hearing yourself though. <laughs> oh, it's okay. my voice meter routing through it. Ah, okay. Um, whenever you are um, moving, whenever you're stopped in cover, or not necessarily in cover, but whenever you guys are stopped, you're gonna try to take the lowest possible. You can either lay down if possible, or sometimes you're, you'll be crowded. Um, you'll be covering your sides. So like um, Fleckman, you'd be behind Ghost for his killer and you'd be covering the left. And Lept, you would be behind Reflect and you'd be covering the right. Leave that's... Yeah, because Q is covering the rear. And so you guys would be currently crouched or laying on the ground, seeing as you're not moving. How do, how do you get the lay on the ground again? X. X? Yeah. Which doesn't always work everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily always work. So if you, if you can't lay down, then just go ahead and be crouched. All right, that basically just makes it so you're less of a target while you're sitting there. 
Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of movement. Um, when you move, basically, your reflect man would be calling out um, uh, alpha team. Uh, move towards, and he'll call the direction where he wants you to go, and then he'll call the speed. Speeds are either walking or jogging. Never running, because running is basically when you're when the shit's hit the fan and you gotta move. So... You're behind me, so move back then. All right, quick review. Uh, Bravo 1 is going to be facing forward. Bravo 2 faces right or left? Left, okay. Bravo 3 faces right. Uh, Bravo 4 is behind us. I'm going to call Bravo move forward. And then Bravo 1 calls out moving and then set, set, set. Right. Moving, 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 set, set, set. All right. Position, everyone's good. All right. Bravo, move towards target. Carolina dog. Oh, jogging. Thank you. Grab a two moving, jogging. Grab a two set. 